Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into one of the most fascinating topics in modern naval defense, Israel's dual sea shield, the sea dome and the Barakar systems. These two cutting-edge missile defense systems are redefining maritime protection and have become the cornerstone of Israel's naval deterrence strategy. In this video, we'll explore how both systems work, what makes them unique, how they complement each other, and why together they form one of the most advanced naval defense umbrellas in the world. The sea is one of the most unpredictable and vulnerable frontiers for any nation. For Israel, surrounded by potential threats from the air and sea, securing its coastline and offshore assets like gas rigs is absolutely crucial. That's where the Sea Dome and Barakar come in. Both systems are built to protect Israel's naval fleet against a wide variety of threats, from drones and rockets to anti-ship missiles and even aircraft. But what makes this duo so powerful is how they complement each other in range, response time, and defensive layering. Let's start with the Sea Dome. If the name sounds familiar, it's because it's the naval version of the Iron Dome, Israel's world-famous land-based missile defense system. The Sea Dome brings that same technology to the sea, adapted to handle the unique challenges of naval warfare. Installed primarily on Israel's Saar 5 and Saar 6 corvettes, the Sea Dome protects these ships against short and medium-range aerial threats. Think of it as a floating iron dome that can move, react, and defend itself in real time against incoming missiles, rockets, and even swarm drone attacks. The Sea Dome uses vertically launched interceptors that are stored in canisters below deck. When a threat is detected, the system's advanced radar and fire control computers instantly calculate the trajectory and intercept path, firing a Tamir missile directly toward the target. The Tamir interceptor is highly maneuverable, equipped with an active radar seeker and proximity fuse, making it capable of neutralizing incoming threats with pinpoint accuracy. One of the Sea Dome's biggest strengths is its reaction time. Because naval battles can evolve in seconds, the Sea Dome is designed for rapid detection and response, automatically engaging threats without human intervention if necessary. Its radar system can track multiple targets simultaneously and prioritize them based on their danger level to the ship or the formation. This autonomous operation ensures constant protection, even in the chaos of combat. Now, let's move to the Barak Ur, a much longer range and more powerful system. While the Sea Dome handles close-range threats, the Barakar steps in when enemies are much farther away. Developed by Israel Aerospace Industries IAI, the Barakar is part of the wider Barak MX family, a modular air defense system that can protect land, air, and naval platforms. The UR in its name stands for Extended Range, and that's exactly what it offers, engagement capability up to 150 kilometers, or roughly 93 miles. The Barakar missile uses an active radar seeker, thrust vector control, and a dual-pulse rocket motor to achieve high maneuverability and sustained range. This makes it ideal for intercepting advanced threats like cruise missiles, aircraft, and even some types of ballistic targets. On a naval vessel, this means it can engage threats long before they come close enough for the Sea Dome to handle. In other words, the Barakar forms the outer layer of Israel's sea defense, while the Sea Dome guards the inner zone. What's truly impressive about the Barakar system is its networked architecture. It can operate as part of a multi-layered defense grid, sharing data between ships and ground-based radar systems. This allows the Israeli Navy to detect and intercept threats beyond the radar horizon using targeting data from other assets. Such coordination ensures that even if a missile or aircraft approaches from an unexpected direction, it can be detected early and neutralized efficiently. The Barak ER's vertical launch capability also makes it highly versatile. It can be installed on a variety of ships, including corvettes and larger frigates, and can launch in any weather condition. Because the missile is stored and launched vertically, it doesn't require the ship to point toward the target, saving precious seconds in engagement time. Now, let's talk about why Israel needs both systems instead of just one. The answer lies in layered defense. No single missile system can protect against every kind of threat at every distance. Short-range systems like the Sea Dome are great for quick reaction and close interception, but they lack the reach to handle long-range threats. On the other hand, long-range systems like the Barakar provide early interception but might struggle against multiple small, fast, low-altitude threats like rockets or drones. By combining both, 
Israel achieves a near impenetrable defensive shield over its naval assets. The Barak Ur creates the first engagement zone, striking down incoming threats from afar. If any missile or drone slips through, the Sea Dome stands ready to intercept it at closer range. This multi layered approach ensures redundancy, reliability, and maximum protection against complex saturation attacks. Both systems also integrate seamlessly with Israel's advanced radar networks and combat management systems. The Saar-6 Corvettes, for example, are equipped with the MF Star multi-function surveillance, track and guidance radar capable of detecting hundreds of targets simultaneously at long distances. This radar provides real-time data to both the Sea Dome and Barakar launchers, enabling coordinated responses and minimizing reaction time. Another aspect worth mentioning is the compact design of both systems. Space on a warship is limited, so the fact that both the Sea Dome and Barakar can be installed without major structural changes is a huge advantage. Their modular design allows the Israeli Navy to adapt the systems based on mission requirements, ship class, or threat environment. From a strategic standpoint, the combination of Sea Dome and Barakar dramatically expands Israel's maritime security perimeter. The eastern Mediterranean has become a zone of increasing tension, with offshore gas fields, trade routes, and military operations all in close proximity. The ability to defend these zones from aerial attacks gives Israel a powerful advantage in maintaining control and deterrence. In addition to defending naval assets, these systems can also protect other high-value assets such as offshore platforms or friendly ships operating within range. Through data sharing and coordinated engagement, one vessel equipped with Barak or Sea Dome can help shield an entire flotilla. This kind of cooperative defense network is a key feature of modern naval warfare, and Israel's implementation of it demonstrates how advanced its defense technology has become. Another factor that makes the Barak or and Sea Dome combination unique is their battle-proven lineage. Both systems derive from technologies tested extensively under real combat conditions. The Iron Dome has already intercepted thousands of rockets over Israel, proving its reliability. Similarly, the Barak missile family has seen continuous upgrades and testing, ensuring it remains ahead of evolving threats. This real-world experience translates into confidence and effectiveness at sea. There's also an economic perspective. By leveraging existing technologies and components, Israel can produce and maintain these systems more efficiently. The shared technological base between Iron Dome, Sea Dome, and the Barak family reduces logistics costs, simplifies training, and ensures smoother upgrades in the future. Looking ahead, Israel's dual sea shield strategy represents the future of naval defense. As threats become faster, smaller, and more complex, a flexible, layered system like this will be crucial. The integration of artificial intelligence, better radar fusion, and faster data links will only make the Sea Dome and Barak Ur more powerful over time. The Barak ER's future versions are expected to include extended range interceptors and possibly even the ability to counter short range ballistic missiles over the sea. The Sea Dome, on the other hand, is expected to evolve with lighter, faster interceptors capable of tackling emerging drone swarms and hypersonic threats. This constant evolution keeps Israel's navy one step ahead in an era where naval combat is defined by information speed and precision engagement. In summary, Israel's Sea Dome and Barakar form a perfect combination of close and an extended range protection. Together, they offer a seamless defense umbrella that can detect, track, and neutralize nearly any aerial threat targeting Israel's naval forces. From the smallest rocket to advanced cruise missiles, these systems ensure that the Israeli Navy remains protected, agile, and ready for any challenge. The dual sea shield is more than just technology, it's a symbol of strategic foresight and national resilience. In an age where maritime dominance is essential for economic and military security, Israel's commitment to building and perfecting such advanced defense systems sets a benchmark for navies around the world. So, the next time you see Israel's sleek Saar-6 corvettes cruising through the Mediterranean, remember that beneath their decks lies a complex network of sensors, interceptors, and computing systems working in perfect harmony, the Sea Dome standing guard over the near horizon, and the Barakar watching the distant skies. Together, they embody the future of naval defense, fast, smart, and unstoppable. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Israel's cutting-edge sea defense systems, 
Make sure to hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe for more military technology breakdowns from around the world. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.